my Jesus Christ fucking blew up my good ear Fucking A. <laughs> yeah, right. What we're playing, I'm trying to record those properly. That one just happened to be on a stream and. Uh. I didn't catch it all the way. Alright. So we're doing, we're making Cato Camarón. Shrimp stew. Good old shrimp stew. Yeah, it doesn't take long to make. It just takes forever to prepare. Get into the groove here. Stop thinking about the damn PC. All right, so this is an old Baja California recipe. Pretty simple. It's just shrimp, potatoes, and carrots. But the secret is in the ingredients that you choose. And I'm standing in the light. Here we go. Much better. Much better. So, the most important part is, of course, the shrimp. These are wild whites. They've been imported from Mexico. You can get them from Vietnam, you can get it from Thailand, but I prefer the ones from Mexico. And the reason why is because... They haven't been deveined or have that easy peel cut. They're still intact. You can see it. So we're gonna do first thing we do, we gotta wash the fuckers. Cause when they're caught, they're put in a brine on the boat and frozen. And in the brine, there's a chemical in it called STP or some shit like that. A preservative. We gotta wash that off. Hey, Sammy. The boys are ganging up on me because they smell the shrimp. So grab yourself. For the recipe that I'm making today, you're gonna need, I think it's 18 quart. This is a 30 quart, 30 quart pot. So this thing is gonna get, it's gonna get full. Right, let me change the other camera. There we go. What you want to do is dump all your shrimp. In the pot, because we're going to wash it. We're going to wash it, little motherfuckers. We're going to wash it. Not too loud, am I? I did a stream last weekend. It was fucking blaring and nobody told me. So just put them in the pot, rinse them a few times. Lucky for me, the water here is fucking freezing. It's like 35 degree water. So it keeps the shrimp from going bad. The tramp. The tramp. I better hurry because the old lady's already giving me the stink face because she's hungry. I'm making her eat sweet bread instead. She's 
She's got the hangries. Actually, when you get shrimp, let's say you go to the market. I don't buy shrimp from Albertsons, Kroger, Safeway, or anything like that. And I don't buy it from the butcher block. What you want to do is go to your local Mexican seafood place or Vietnamese place or ranch market. Ask him for a four pound, ba uh, four pound box of frozen shrimp. And the reason why you want frozen shrimp is because it hasn't ever been defrosted since it was caught on the ship. When you buy stuff that's been defrosted, what happens is that the shrimp get waterlogged and they start getting a spongy texture to them. If you buy them straight frozen and they've never been defrosted, they stay nice and firm when you cook them. But if you buy the defrosted shit you see at the butcher block and you're like, oh, give me a pound of that and it's all warm. First of all, they're going to be real stinky. Second, they're going to be waterlogged. So they're going to be all spongy. Yeah, we. I like to get shrimp from either the Mexican grocery store or Filipino. The Filipino markets. Because, like I said, they don't have that, uh, that peel and devein shrimp. Because I can also buy them with the head. I have a ton of recipes where I can use the head, too. So here, just give them, give them a good wash. Give them a good wash. Now, they're pretty clean there. But the water's filthy. But you want to keep it cold though. So what I do is I keep them there, just transfer them over. Over here, you get off here. Need another. Another container. Fill this up with water. I'll show you how I do these. But, 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 but. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to peel these. Damn it, I'm out of room. Oh, I'll do it like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to peel them. But I'm going to save the shells. So I hope you got time because it's going to take forever. So I'm saving the shells, legs, everything. And these guys are going to go in here. In that fresh water. So the easiest way to deshell these when they're fresh, pinch the tail first. And then wiggle it out. if I'm catching it on camera. Yeah, there we go. No, we got four pounds of these, so it's gonna be a while. It took me That's exactly right. That's the reason why we're keeping the show. We're gonna make the uh the sabao first. We're gonna make the broth with the shells. That still has legs.
So the shrimp that I'm using, because they were on sale, is the 2630s. 2630s, if you go to Albertsons, or Vons, or Ralph's, they're like $12 a pound. Well, at least here in California. You go to the Mexican or Asian markets, this was $6.99 today. And better to call it in than you'll find at the the major supermarkets. The six ninety nine a pound. Yeah. So since there's 26 30s and we got four pounds, got 120 shrimp to devein. Or peel and devein. Because we're gonna devein, we're gonna I'm gonna butterfly them and devein them at the same time. You gotta be kidding. It's still going. It's still good. That my OBS has crashed again. It's still alive. My iPad that took a shit. Really? You know, amateur operation you guys got running here. Having a little bit of technical difficulty still. Technicalities. My channel. You a boy. Boys are bugging because they smell the fresh shrimp. Hmm. Still working. Just can't see the stream. Look, the mug's gonna smell like shrimp now. I'll 
I see the tail broke off on that one. Now I gotta peel it from the legs. God damn it. Still alive, it's still alive. Oh god, dude, get out of the way. There we go. Yeah, the Twitch, uh, my stream manager is not working on iPad. It just decided to break all of a sudden. Fun day! Yeah, so the stupid camera program that I'm using is from Elgato. And it allows me to use the an iPhone or an iPad as a camera, uh, wireless. The problem is it takes over everything. Not just the audio, it also takes over the graphic card. Because the other camera that I use for a face cam is a, the Keo Pro from Razer. But it's a USB. And it doesn't reach this far. The one you're watching right now, that's a Sony DSLR from fucking 1910. I had to go back in time just to get parts for it. But it still works. Yeah, boy. These are good quality shrimp. They're nice and firm. Plus, they're not stinky. That's why I like buying them frozen, because you know for a fact they haven't been defrosted. And the way you know that it's not it hasn't been defrosted, you open up the box and make sure that each and every shrimp is frozen separately. Because when then the brine that they use is kind of like chicken nuggets. When you buy uh, chicken tenders in a frozen bag, they're actually frozen. They they freeze separately. They don't they don't freeze in a big ass clump. But when they get defrosted and they refreeze them, it turns it to a brick. And that's a big no go. You don't want that box. Does that mean that long, long the way it was it was uh, thawed out and then refrozen? It's a big no no. Big no no. I like the wild whites because, um, well, first of all, they're cheaper than Tiger. And they have a firmer texture. And when it comes to beef stew, you don't want these humongous ass shrimp. Because they tend to be um, older and shrimpier.
Yeah, as the shrimp matures, it tends to get a stronger flavor. I think that's the reason why. Like here in the U.S., they use tiger shrimp to make shrimp cocktail, but then they cover it in fucking tomato sauce, trying to hide the shrimpiness. What they call cocktail sauce. With fucking horseradish and Worcestershire and... Sounds like a fucking Buffalo Wild Wing dip. See, I like shrimp flavor. It's like I like steak. I don't like hiding it with a bunch of sauces. What you doing, boy? What you doing, boy? Man, they got a death there on me because they... Like, where's my shrimp daddy? Where's my shrimp daddy? Who said we're gonna get shrimp daddy? I want my shrimp daddy. Want some of that shrimp, Daddy? The boys haven't, uh, they haven't been getting wet food lately. Cause Fatty over here been getting constipated. They they usually get wet food every other day and dry food every other day, so they alternate. That way their poop stays normal. But Chunky over here has been holding his poop in. And if I feed him wet food, it'll tend to soften him up and then he gets diarrhea. But right now they're only getting wet food once a week. So they smell the shrimp or they smell any kind of meat or chicken. And they go ape shit. And they're back to the normal diet of every other day being wet food day. They don't bug. Right now they're acting like they're starving. Like they don't get fed. Shit, I caught Sammy the other day trying to call CPS. It's because he could see the bottom of his bow. fat bastard and it's funny because I have to feed him the same thing I have to feed them exactly the same type of food if one of them gets chicken the other one gets chicken because he's just like the little kids he go, goes there and buy them both happy meals and he's the kid that sits there cunning fries but daddy Damien's got five fries. I only got four. I swear, both of them are autistic. They're autistic, just like their daddy. Yeah, he'll sit there and comparing the food. He notices when 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 uh, sad when Damien gets more food than he does. Cause Damien's a skinny little boy. He's got a high metabolism. So I gotta secretly feed him more. Cause he burns through food faster. But he stays skinny. That's a Siamese. But Sammy's a lazy old fucking tabby. He just sleeps all day. So I gotta control his diet. But he knows. He knows when Damien gets an extra bit of food. Seriously, he'll sit there and I don't know if he, 
how he knows, but I can give them each one a can of wet food. And he'll notice if it's like two or three grams less than <laughs> what Damien is getting. And he definitely knows when they're different flavors. Because when they're when they're both when they're uh, both have like really soft poop on the verge of diarrhea, we tend to give them more turkey. It tends to firm it up. But if they got firm poop where they're getting to the verge of constipation, we start giving them more greasy foods like rabbit or duck. And sometimes one of them has constipation, and the other one has diarrhea. So I gotta mix up their food a little bit. But he notices. Those are my boys. God damn it. Fucking iPad turned off. Can't read the chat. Oh my god. No, my iPad is going to smell like shrimp. My mic smells like shrimp. My iPad smells like shrimp. My computer smells like shrimp now. OBS smells like shrimp. Little turds. Look at the tired of waiting. Now they're eating dry food. Yeah, I don't give them raw. I don't give them raw food. It has to be cooked. Unless they catch it themselves, well, and it was still alive when they caught it. They don't get fresh food. It's not healthy. Like if you give them raw steak or raw ground beef it's not good for them so they gotta wait until this gets cooked cook cook cooked there's no shrimp in the wild he's like there's no dry cat food in the wild either so smart ass little turd yeah this recipe I've been doing since I was maybe 10 11 years old yeah 10 because I'm one of those kids that likes to eat the same food over and over again until I get tired of it I fell in love with this when I was a kid and I had to have it for like three months And that was ages ago when shrimp used to be cheap. Dude, I still fuck up some EB dry shrimp. Oh, just to get by. Know your mother. What's your name? Lucifer. Oh. Exactly. Let's see, in the past three months. I've made shrimp let's say about 24 pounds of shrimp just for me and the old lady and the two boys they get their fair share This would be a, my on my death row menu would be shrimp, be the first or second next to steak. Mm. 
in my death row food. Number three would be vagina. But we don't say those things on Twitch. <laughs> Can't have dead air. No dead air. And I don't want to. I don't want to do fucking shrimp peeling ASMR. Cause it just sounds like I'm cleaning out schmegma. I don't know. Some people, some people would like that. Fucking weirdos. Because of that, now I won't be able to have a VOD. Hey, there's a head. Where'd you come from? I will put you in there. Now, if I were using shrimps with heads, same process. You just set the heads aside. And I blend those fuckers. And that makes like a like a super concentrated a shrimp consomme. If you cook it just right, you it won't even be grainy. Especially if you puree the heads. We're almost finished here. I got maybe half a pound left. See, it doesn't take very long. Oh god damn it. Yeah, the video is not working on my, my iPad, so the fucking chat keeps turning off. Yeah, I've been thinking about maybe doing an ASMR, a mukbang of some sort. To me, it grosses me out when I watch other people doing it, but shit. If it'll increase my viewership, I just don't want to need to show butthole. I don't need to go to OnlyFans. <laughs> if I can't make Twitch work, OnlyFans, here we come. I came across a fucking channel where there was this Chinese lady eating fucking live crabs. Like the little crabs you see on the shoreline when you go to the beach. That's just plain fucking stupid. They were all pinching at her mouth and she was trying to eat them. That bitch needs to be arrested. Or like that girl that was trying to eat a live octopus and you know she may not have known this but some octopus species have little barbs inside of the suckers well she found that out the hard way yeah we're moving right along we're almost done Well, surprisingly, these things are, there's a point when you cook them. You either cook them just right and the shells are extremely difficult to take off. Or you overcook them and then they're jumping out of the damn shell. But then again, shrimp is overcooked. They shrink like almost half the size when you overcook them. And then they become really rubbery. Yeah, the secret to a good shrimp dish is how you cook it. Took me years to figure out 
how not to make the shrimp get waterlogged. Because waterlogging is what makes them spongy. Like all those fucking bags of either pre-cooked shrimp that you see like at Walmart or State of Brothers or something like that. No, State of Brothers is a California market. It's kind of like Publix for in Florida or Don Quixote in Hawaii. And, uh, yeah, those fucking shrimps are horrible. It's like eating Play-Doh. And I've eaten plenty of Play-Doh in my life, so I know. And, yeah, it's a lemon with some Play-Doh. Mmm. Not salty enough. Got about a quarter pound left. This is the first part of the preparation. So basically what you're going to see today is just how long this is going to take in real time. Because the video that I'm probably going to make for YouTube will probably be no more than like 15 minutes. And for some reason, the stream manager is not working on the damn chat or the iPad program. I gotta get, I gotta keep elbow bumping it. It's almost like I'm running a PBS here. Yeah, boy. All right, that was the last one. All right, so what we gotta do, we gotta dump the water in the pot. Water's in the pot, needs to be dumped. We can do this without making a miss. You gotta you're going to have to rinse out the pot because there's going to be dirt at the bottom. Alright. There we go. Nice and clean. It's so fresh and so clean, clean. Alright. Too. Who's that? Not me. I'm in my prime. Who followed? Yeah, you look it. Buena Ledger is now following. Bueno Ledger, thank you. Thank you for the follow, my dude. Shit, bottle feeder man. You know it. I love shrimp. Next thing we gotta do, we gotta cook these shells. Gotta cook them. And I got my extremely precise, you know, measuring cup right here. See that? It's special for this. What we need, we need 15 cups of water. There's a reason why you need 15 cups. And we'll tell you later. And the process comes up. What up, sucker? 
You guys playing uh, COD tonight? Is it still, is it working now or is it still fucked up? Switch the cameras over. I gotta run over to the computer to do all this. All right, so we got our fifteen cups of water. Oh, you guys haven't been in yet? 15 cups of water, right? All right. The hell of a delay on a goddamn iPhone. Here. Get our 15 cups of cold water. Now, the other reason why I forgot to mention is the reason why I put the shrimp shells in a colander so it doesn't keep that dirty water where we initially cleaned them. Put these fuckers in there. Yeah, boy. Now we're going to make our shrimp consomme. What you want to do, give them a nice shake. Put them on your heater, your range, heating element, whatever you got. I got an induction cooker here. Put that fucker high. And cover it. All right, we're going to bring that to a boil. And let's get this all cleaned up here. Fucking stream deck is gonna smell like shrimp. All right, now we're gonna devein these fuckers. Uh, water's starting to get warm. No bueno. Let's change the water out. You can't let the shrimp warm up. Ideally, you want to keep these in the, like an ice bath. But because the water's so cold here, it's doing just fine. Give them another cleaning. Damn iPad! I can't see the fucking chat! Motherfucker! Oh, come on. For some reason, my stream manager doesn't want to work on the iPad now.
It's in the creator mode. There we go. Hopefully that stays on. All right. Get yourself a nice little sharp paring knife. Make sure that fucker sharpened. Sharpen that bitch up. Ooh. Better than fucking Manscaped. Anybody, anybody want me to test it out? Ooh, nice and sharp. Are you going to bed, dude? Well, thank you for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. You're always welcome here. I appreciate you, Lolo. And like I said, we'll get we'll get you a chihu, a proper chihu soon. All right, might want to have a little bit of cold water running. We're gonna devein these fuckers. There we go. I don't know why it fell. See that? Look at that. Big old doo doo. A big old doo doo. We don't want that doo doo. Look at that, that is beautiful. Spectacular. Get some cold water in our special pitcher. Drop the good shrimp in there. Drop it in there. going don't go all the way through just go to the majority of the way through like three quarters of the way you get a nice flat intact piece of shrimp <gasps> eat that now Evil Dead came out today on Epic for free. Might want to go pick that up, man. Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Yeah, it looks like uh, you can play either... You can play Ash or you can play the demons. I guess you chase each other. Kind of like the Friday the 13th game. Or what was the other one? Dead by Daylight? I only played the tutorial. Just to get it set up. It looked pretty fun. The Dreamcast version of Evil Dead? No, this one just came out recently, like within the past couple months. I don't remember the Dreamcast version. Now you're gonna make me look it up. Yeah, yeah, I think today was uh, three, uh, not today, but Thursday was three free games. One of them, I think, was Rumbleverse, which is already free. And I don't remember what the other one, but it looked like one of those 
fucking Japan, the JRPG type. Yeah, this one plays just like Dead by Daylight. Well, kind of actually pretty similar to Back for Blood. Yeah, the movement on this one is actually pretty crisp. Doesn't feel too floaty. And the one thing already off the bat that I didn't like, it's got that film grain post-processing, which you cannot turn off. But at least you can turn off the damn motion blur. I don't know why they put that shit on there. What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? You gonna make a turkey? I'll probably do one here on stream. I'll do a turkey breast. With all the fixings. I would do a whole turkey, but I don't have an oven. Well, not a full size oven. I got one of those convection oven microwave deals. Do you still eat turkey or are you going to make something different? You can go for a tofurkey. Or are you going to make salmon? Just like today's politician, these things are fucking full of shit. I heard Twitter is going to start paying content creators to try to steal, well not steal, but convince like YouTubers to move. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I think I'm, I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start making uh, content for Twitter. It said they're, they're incentivizing content creators to go over there and get paid 10% more than what YouTube pays. And you still have, as far as we know, not exclusive rights. So you can still upload your shit all over the place. God oh, damn, these fucking things are full of shit. Must be some fucking DC politician fuckers.
I don't know how they're gonna do it because as far as I know they're not they don't have the servers are not capable of holding that kind of long form content. But I mean he's not gonna own it. No different than YouTube. The concern right now is if he's gonna wanna do exclusive, kinda like what Twitch does, where you can't put a VOD up for 24 hours on another platform. Yeah, he just wants to compete against YouTube, from what I gather. Which is good because YouTube's the only fucking long format video site that actually gives you money. Give me money. It's funny what's happening with Twitter. He's fired half of the crew, locked everybody out yesterday, and the fucking thing's still running smoothly. <laughs> I think he did it all on purpose to show that just how badly Twitter was being managed. Yeah, for us content creators, quote unquote, it's hard to be on a site where you depend on it to make your living. And the site is constantly interrupted or, you know, policies change just out of the blue. Kind of like with YouTube, their fucking algorithm always changes. Their policies always change. Their TOS always changes. And Twitch has got its own fuck-ups. Especially recently. And we're just going along for the ride. But it's... You know, it's like people who sell on Etsy. People who sell on Etsy... Are at the mercy of fucking Etsy. And their shit's always fucked up all the time. Because they're always fucking around with the search engine. The, they're always doing something with the stupid SEO algorithm. There'll be one day where you make a shitload of sales. And there'll be another day where you make nothing for weeks. And then they send you an apology letter. Oh, there was something wrong on Etsy. We made a change and, and it broke. Just not as honestly. Yep, they sure do. I used to pay for servers back in the early 2000s just to be gaming. For a 400 person server for TeamSpeak and a gaming server back in 2000 that can hold, let's say, Battlefield. 1942 and Counter-Strike, the server and client uh, protocols where you can hold, you know, let's say 40 people, was almost $3,000 a month. 
on an ISDN line. It wasn't even a T1 or a T3 line. It was an ISDN line. Back in 2000. If you wanted to do gaming and have your, your you know, shout, they used to call it shoutcasting. Where you would get on TeamSpeak. And TeamSpeak actually had video capability. And there was stream video. It was lousy. But nobody else had that capability. So you can live stream your matches. Me, I don't sell anything on Etsy. I just know how Etsy works for some reason. I don't know how I know, but I just do. Why are you trying to dox me, man? Yeah, the wifey has an Etsy store. But it's got too much personal information on it. So, yeah, we're not going to... I'm not going to promote it until we can scrub it. Dude, IRC, it was like an MIRC. And then when IRC went down, we used Usenet. Hell yeah. And then uh, Ventrilo came out. I didn't like Ventrilo. That, that was, to me, that was trash. And then there was, uh, what was it? Uh, X Force? Or X Speak or some shit like that? That was trash. But T Speak is still around. Yeah, I still have some of the chat logs from our clan. And Counter Strike and uh, Battlefield 1942 Desert Combat. Because my clan had over 360 members. So the chat logs were fucking enormous. Because TeamSpeak would actually keep, would recognize speech and then keep logs. I think what killed TeamSpeak was the fact that people started getting more professional mics. And all of a sudden the quality of in-game chat started getting better. And then T and then uh, Steam. Because I prefer Steam over Discord. Discord is too... Uh, the company itself is a little bit... Kind of shady. Because I... Seeing that they monitor the the chat, kind of like what PSN does, where they monitor the in-game chat. Well, lucky for me, I didn't have to. I didn't have to pay for Teamspeak. Not back then, because we used to shoutcast our matches, and they were just barely getting off the floor. So we get that shit for free. But the server. To have it all contained was expensive. The team speak, the game, your uh, what was it? The the uh, FTP, and then the fucking what was it called? The PB forums that was connected to your website. So that shit got expensive. Yeah, when it, I have a couple of shoutcasts that I still have recorded. I mean, granted, it's like 24, uh, 240p. But the audio quality, it was the first time we actually took audio quality seriously as far as uh, uh, for voice chat. Instead of using our headset mics back then. And you can tell in the shoutcast that, you know, it was actually pretty high quality. 
Still sounded like shit to com today's standards, but for back in 2003, whew, shit was fire. Man, MSN was all about, what was it? It was MSN and ICQ, and as soon as you get into the chat, it was fucking ASL. ASL. If you don't give us your ASL, we're gonna boot you. Bunch of fucking groomers. <laughs> yeah, MSN had a fucking... They had that YouTube problem. Like the early YouTube. Where they would have a bunch of fucking adults pretending to be kids. Same thing with AOL. But I think what killed them all was, uh, was Steam. Once they got the Steam chat that was actually integrated into most of the Steam games. And it wasn't until Discord came out. But Steam was king. Dude, I had a laptop just for... Just for Merc. That shit was fucking resource intensive. Especially if you had a couple hundred people in your chat room people sending files and it's fucking dumb but we loved it that's how we used to set up our matches between all the clans it was over IRC What you been up to, Fabio? I haven't seen you in a while, man. Last time I seen you was on a uh, scan Steam. That's uh, Steam. Stream. You back to streaming? Yeah, Morbid is, um... Uh, it's actually my... He's my brother. My, one of my fucking army of little brothers. Too many kids in my family. I don't know, something going around. The old lady went to Walmart or I don't know where how she went. And now she's sitting in the the bedroom, the fucking sinus cold. Ooh, I can smell that shrimp. I can smell that consomme. Those shrimp shells are cooking right up. Got another pound left. We're almost done with these. Then we gotta do the mise en place. Mise en place. Just fancy French term for all the other fucking ingredients. 
prepared, cleaned, diced, julienned, whatever you want to do. See, to me, this is actually relaxing. It's pretty much brainless work, but not so much because you'll end up fucking slicing a goddamn vein if you're not paying attention. But it's just enough to keep the voices in my head fucking busy and quiet. That's why I don't mind cooking for like four or five hours. You can say that. If you call California Spanish speaking, pretty damn close. Noise. See, I'm a cook. I'm a home cook. I'm very well versed in Google recipes. <laughs> I just love that word because I heard it from uh, Chef Jean Pierre says it all the time. Mise en place. Onion. You must dice your onion. Well, that's because I am Spanish. And being in California, we live above Baja, California. So as we were kids, we go down to Baja, California. And that's where you get the best shrimp. Yeah, we did that... Uh, was it the fuck is it called that DNA test oh my god it's at the tip of my tongue not the 23 and me the other one ancestry.com that dumb shit yes sir Portuguese Yes, we're we're actually from from Spain. We just don't know what part. But we're also uh like I said twenty five percent well at least me twenty five percent Aztec. So that's Guadalajara, Jalisco, um, Michoacan, in Mexico, which are a bunch of fishermen. So cooking seafood, part of my blood, and I can't have enough of it. Like I was saying earlier on stream, so far in the past few months, I've already cooked 24 pounds of shrimp just between for me and the old lady. Yeah, caldo de camarón. I worked on this recipe since I was about 10 years old. And it's simple as shit. But I had to figure that out. Because everybody else's caldo de camarón has their own unique footprint. Everybody has their own little seasonings to it. And mine is more about the process. How it's cooked is what makes all the difference in the world. That's why I'm peeling and deveining the shrimp because I only buy shrimp that I only buy whole shrimp that doesn't have the easy peel. Just to keep the meat a bit more tender and prevent it from waterlogging. Which makes for a much firmer shrimp. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier about the American shrimp cocktails. They use the tiger shrimp, which happens to be really shrimpy if you don't wash it properly. And they mask it with that fucking horseradish cocktail sauce. All that money wasted on that good-ass shrimp, well, all they had to do was clean it. 
a little better. You wouldn't have to smother it in that fucking god awful sauce. What am I making it up on the spot? Taka, how many times have you seen me make this? It's like that one time that Dan Dan threw a fucking cat toy in my damn soup. I think that was the, the one and only time that my little brother saw death. For the first time. <laughs> Had a fresh batch of shrimp cock duck. Coquel de camarón. With octopus. With abalone. I just barely sat down. And he throws a cat toy in a... He meant to throw it at my chest. But instead it landed inside my plate. And that fucking cat toy was rancid. I still ate it anyways. Because you can't let a good bowl of fucking shrimp cocktail go to waste. Yeah, that's the first time uh, Daniel learned that uh, he has a nervous laugh when he gets scared. Smelling good. Yo, no! What up, dude? Man, you guys gotta start using your damn points. Made that cheap for a reason. I could make it cheaper, too. Isn't that shit banned? Shit, if I can put a camera up and just watch me sleep, you'll see a couple of fucking pitch tents, but that's alright. Content. Because sometimes I fucking run out of ideas. Especially when you're uh, stuck in between... Your neighbors that get up at five in the morning. And the neighbors happen to be like 20 feet. On either side. That's the RV life. Man, if they're looking for a fart, come to this channel. They don't need they don't need to watch somebody like it's like fucking watching NASCAR then. You're just waiting for that collision to happen. But you just gotta watch four hours of a race. You wanna see some farts? Come on over. I provide them free of charge. Alright, this is the last one. Nice and clean. So fresh, so clean, clean. Now, if you did it properly, they shouldn't have a smell. There is no smell to these shrimp. All that fucking chemical that they put in the brine, the salt brine, all gone. Yeah, they put a preservative on the shrimp when it's on the boat. All right. I have a, uh, what do they call it, the, the stream bot? Or streamer bot? I forgot what it's called. But if you say a phrase like, show me your feet, you're instantly banned. 
You know how fucking weird that shit is when somebody comes into my chat and they fucking see my pedal cams or something when I'm, you know, I'm driving my big rig or I'm racing a car or something, playing some driving simulator. Come on, man. Take off your socks. Show me your feet. It's like, you're on Twitch, man. Not OnlyFans. Fucking weird ass people. Shit, as far as I know, all I gotta do is show butthole and I'd be famous. Put some farts in a jar, I'd be famous. Alright, let's switch cameras. Oh, God damn. What are you fogging up the camera for? All right. Here's a foundation to our shrimp consomme. Ooh, that is looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in a slow boil. Add a little bit more water. Just a little bit, maybe a cup. Just to compensate for the evaporation. That's all we need. And we'll put this on low. Because the shrimp is only going to take about seven minutes to cook. I'm gonna put that down to about maybe 210, 210 degree Fahrenheit. Set the shrimp aside or put it in the fridge if you're if you don't have cold water. Okay, now for the mise en place. Mise en place. Clean our little shrimp jar. There we go. Hey, freedom units, man. Freedom units. Nothing wrong with Imperial. You just gotta know your body parts. It's better than reading stones. Hectares. Actually, I think hectares are one of ours. All right. All right, so one of the first important ones that takes the longest some good russet potatoes. Just dump them in your sink. Oh yeah. I say, I don't know, good four pounds. But for you weeders out there, what is it? 2.4 kilos. <laughs> I 
Oh no, what is it? It's uh, four pounds divided by 2.2. So 1.8. Almost two kilos. <laughs> 